I'm getting really tired of this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bishop Mandible, trans-ultimate apostle of the anti-secular conclave of clerics. I know. Am I expected to kneel? Silence, you impudent punk! This is my assistant, Cobb. Charmed, I'm sure. And you require no introduction. Your cloak and staff betray your origins. But I must say I'm surprised to find you here. It's been quite a long time since any weaver bothered to leave that dreary little rock you call home. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> so provincial. I can't help but wonder what impelled you to leave it now. His Excellency asked you a question. I know. I'm ignoring it. Ah, recalcitrance. I see. Shall I fetch the uh, instruments of persuasion, Master? Please forgive my assistant his eagerness. I fear Cobb is not very worldly. He does not understand the dangerous power of a weaver. Dangerous? Your reverence, him? Quite dangerous indeed, my dear Cobb. In fact, he could burst this flimsy iron cage open with hardly a second thought. That's impossible, most exalted one. I inspect the locks personally every fortnight. Observe and learn then, for even now your prisoner plans his escape. See, Cobb? An elusive breed, these weavers. Fortunately, however, they're quite helpless without their weaving sticks. That distaff will never work for you. Oh, no, my young friend, you're quite wrong about that. Come, let me show you why. Consider the common graveyard. There, the boundary between the living and the dead is indistinct. Every graveyard's like that, so... Now, imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary were to be somehow breached. Torn open, so to speak. It's not that simple. You can't just rip the pattern apart like an old rag. But it is that simple, my boy, and I can. I have only to lift this rod, and the legions of the dead will stream forth onto the plain of the living. A vast army of the dead, nourished by the shepherd's flocks, armed by the artisanship of the blacksmiths, guided by the glassmaker's sphere. All under the spiritual leadership of one supreme commander, me! The final hour is now at hand. The age of the clerics is upon us. I have preparations to attend to, Cobb. Don't let this boy out of your sight. He is to touch nothing. Do you understand me? <laughs> Perfectly, Your Excellence. Lord Mandible, ruler of the universe. Mm, I do. I do like the sound of it. I'll have to change my station. You're not so dangerous now, then, are you? Going somewhere, weaver boy? Going somewhere, weaver boy? Keep away from that! His Eminence said not to touch anything. I wasn't going to touch it. Just looking, Cobb. That's all. Just looking, eh? Well then, perhaps we can do a bit of a trade. How about I let you look in the sphere if... If... what? Well, the legends say that to gaze upon an uncloaked weaver brings death. Naturally, we clerics aren't given to such silly superstitions. But I'm curious. 
Let's answer this one once and for all, shall we? No! May we have some quiet, please? I can't even begin to invoke the dead with all that screaming. Well, he can't say he wasn't warned. She looks hungry. I think I'll stay out of her way. And I see Cobb has been lax in his duty. No matter. You're just in time to witness the dawn of a new era. You don't have the slightest idea of what you're doing. The pattern is already worn and frayed. If you rip a hole in it now, the consequences will be beyond anything you can imagine. Spare me your weaver mysticism, boy. The time has come when the dead shall no longer envy the living. torn the pattern completely open. And with it, the eyes of the dead. Behold! I have a very bad feeling about this. Who dares disturb the peace of those who sleep? I welcome and greet you, noble spirit. I am Bishop Mandible. Transultimate apostle of the anti secular conclave of clerics. And whom have I the honor of summoning? I don't think I want to be part of this conversation. No one obeyed any summoning of yours, foolish mortal. I have summoned you. I am chaos. You have merely opened the door, and I have passed through it. For this, you shall be rewarded. Join me now, as my slave. I see it has been much too long since my last visit. I can't seem to hold on to this thing. <laughs> 